The doctor prescribes 20 mg of a by-mouth drug that needs to be reconstituted. The 0.50 gram container's instructions state to reconstitute the substance with water to create a concentration of 0.8 gram per 10 ml. How many milliliters would you administer per dose? This problem is saying that we have a container with 0.50 gram, and once it is reconstituted, we will have a concentration ratio of 0.8 gram per 10 milliliter. So, for every 0.8 gram of medication, we will give 10 milliliters. We know that the doctor prescribed 20 milligrams of medication, so how many milliliters would you administer per dose? First, Set up the formula, desired over half times quantity. Desire is the dose that the provider order for the patient. Half is what you have on hand. And quantity can be capsules, tablets, or milliliters. The next step is to add the unit answer, milliliters per dose. Because the question is asking, how many milliliters would you administer per dose? Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity because they are usually given to you and they come together. So for this problem is 0.8 gram per 10 milliliters. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, 20 milligrams. But you will notice that the units on top and bottle are different. One is in milligram and the other is in gram. So first, we need to convert milligrams to grams. 20 milligrams divided by 1000 is 0.02 grams. Now plug this answer in the formula and calculate it. 0.02 gram divided by 0.8 gram times 10 milliliters. Gram cancels out and the answer is 0.25 milliliters per dose. So you will administer 0.25 milliliters per dose. The nurse is caring for a patient who is prescribed 8 mg lorazepine IV push stat. What is the total volume of reconstituted lorazepine in milliliters per dose to be administered? Check the information below. Record your answer using a whole number. So, on hand, you have lorazepine 4 mg per 1 ml. And the IV preparation instructions are dilute IV solution using either sterile water for injection or 0.9% sodium chloride solution. Use an equal volume of diluent as the volume of undiluted lorazepine. First, set up the formula desired over half times quantity. The next step is to add the unit answer, milliliters per dose. Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity because they are usually given to you and they come together. So for this problem is 4 mg per 1 ml. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, 8 mg. Since both units on top and bottom are the same, mg, we can calculate it. 8 mg divided by 4 mg times 1 ml. mg cancels out and the answer is 2 ml per dose. Now, according to the instructions, use an equal volume of diluent as the volume of undiluted lorazepine. Since we have 2 ml of lorazepine, we will add 2 ml of diluent. And our final answer is 4 ml per dose. So, the total volume of reconstituted lorazepine is 4 milliliters per dose.